And here is one of the youngest competitors in the field, Alia Mustafina from Russia, who is their children's national champion. It's the second year in a row, Shannon, that we've seen a very young competitor here from Russia. Absolutely, and she looks very young, and she is very young, but she's got the competitive fire that it needs to compete on an international level. And uh, today we're just looking to see how she handles the pressure. And this is the point, isn't it? You bring them all the way over here to uh, the United States, a uh, two-hour cab ride, or rather a car ride to Pottsville, Pennsylvania, kids and uh, competitors from all over the world. And her first taste of it, you can kind of see it in her eyes here. She's just been introduced to the crowd. And that's absolutely the point. Uh, you know, the coaches want you to get experience. They throw you into these competitions, into these international realms where you basically sink or swim. They want to see that fire come out. Whether you make a mistake or not, doesn't matter so much at this level. Uh, what they want to see is that fire in the eyes, that you can make a mistake, get back up, and go on. So she's ready to go. Here's her one shot on the ball. Yurchenko, tuck full twist, very nice, good height off the horse. Not the most difficult vault, but she, what she did, she did well. She landed like a feather, floating down. You can see she gets a nice block off the horse, gets some height in the air. And throughout the years, over the next couple of years, this will turn into a double or even a two and a half mm. twist. So a young Elia Mostafina from Russia, 13.7, 13.7. One of the more interesting stories of the meet, Alia Mostafina, the youngest competitor in the uh, main event, as it were, of the uh, Friendship Invitational, where the junior competitors can actually compete head-to-head -head with some of the seniors or elite competitors. And here's an example, this Mostafina from Russia. And she does not look out of place at all. No. Opening tumbling pass, second tumbling pass, beautiful landings. And throughout this competition, she has held her head high with, with a confidence that uh, no 11-year-old really should have. Two and a half punch tuck front. You can hear the crowd really responding. She has center stage to herself right now. Great experience. Great experience. She's already com completed three tumbling passes. And, uh, of course, with that turn, trying to get some of these dance elements in. Yeah. And judges are looking for that dance, that showmanship. Uh, can she take her eyes off the floor and look around at what's going on and really draw the audience in? But also these strong tumbling passes. Yeah, look at this athleticism. And, and bear in mind again, folks, 11 years. Last tumbling pass. Nice double full. It's only been on Earth for 135 months. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice performance. And there's a lot of tumbling going on in these routines. Four tumbling passes, that's the norm right now. And there's even been rumors of athletes doing five tumbling passes. All of these tumbling passes that Alia did were very strong and very clean. She watches her form in the air, pays attention to these landings, trying to stick, making sure that she saves every tenth that she can. Really concentrating. So the 11-year-old Russian, here's her score on the floor exercise, 13.6. Final program, didn't take a lot of chances, it paid off. Vault, Christine Yoyen finishes on top of Hoffman and the young Russian, 11-year-old, Alia Mustafina. Coming in third on vault, what a tremendous experience for her, and she came in and was just solid. The beam then, here's how they finished, and it's Mustafina again. You loved her routine, and you had the eye for the winner here. It was a beautiful routine. She did have a fall, but it was packed with difficulty and so solid throughout. 11 years old, keep those names in mind.